off and racing this time. Teofilo star off the inside began. Well, Tappy's Land began a shade better, but Teofilo star drives up to keep out Tappy's Land. True Marvel third away, long arm going forward, so is Nerve Not Verve. Some of these racing out of their comfort zone early. Credit Crunch just behind them and off the track. Cookaracha, settling about seventh or eighth down on the inside and warning. He's going to land in midfield. Then came Essential Sky, followed by Alabea. Then out Landos, Salino, Yap at Southern Stock, and Platinum Invader is last. They head down the side of the track, and the leader was Teofilo Star, as most expected, and most uh, think he'll try and lead all of the way. He leads from Nerve Not Verve right up there in second position, and Long Arm drops to a good spot in third. True Marvel found the rail in fourth, and Credit Crunch exposed three wide in Tappy's Land. Cucaracha a bit better than midfield on the rail, warning in the three wide line, Alabia between runners, and then came Outlandos, Yaffet, Salido, Southern Stock, and Platinum Invader. As the late great Bert Bryant would say, they look like a Comanche scouting party as they hack down the straight. The 15 stars still have a round of Eagle Farm left to run, and Teofilo Star, his backers will be hoping next time around that's exactly where he is, in front. He leads Nerve Not Verve at the winning post. Two to Long Arm third, True Marble Park fourth the fence. Credit Crunch in for a tough time. Three white can't get in. Tappy's Lab between runners. Cooker Rancher. J Mac has sent him to sleep over on the inside of midfield. He travels comfortably. Warning three wide, but at least with cover. Around Alabia between runners, the second favourite. Essential Sky of the Grey parked away inside that pair. Followed then by Atlantos. He's joined the three wide line covering Salino. And then Yaffet, Southern Stock and Platinum Invader. They've been second last and last since the get-go. Half the journey completed. They run by the mile and head down the Eagle Farm back straight. And Tim Clark rating Teofilo Star as well as he can. And generally that's pretty good. He leads by one length to Nerve Not Verve in second. Two to long arm travelling well third and True Marvels had a good run fourth on the rail as they're midway along the back. Credit Crunch still exposed, stuck three wide around Tappy's Land and Cucaracha. Warning about to go four wide and take closer order. He's making a long move now that Alabia getting to midfield in the clear, followed by Outlandos. Then came Essential Sky, Salino, Yaffet, Blandon Invader. And last of all was Southern Stock. They pack up now. Only around 10 lengths top end to tail. They head off the back, move to the side. 900 left to run. Teofilo Star currently making every post a winning post. Nerve Not Verve has tracked him all of the way. Warning went up to third, but he's wide around Long Arm and True Marvel. Then Credit Crunch, Tappy's Land, Cucaracha. Alamir in some traffic. Atlantis went by him. Salino coming wider as they approach the 600. Then Essential Sky, Platinum Invader, Southern Stock. And now Yaffa drops out to the tail end. Up to the turn, 500 left to run. Tio Filo Star, the favourite, is still bobbing in the lead. Nerve not nerve, trying earnestly on the outside. Warning is boxing away, coming up strongly three wide as Tio Filo Star is immediately under pressure and Warning grab the lead. Salino runs on powerfully down the outside. Cucaracha gets out. He's had an easy run. He comes after Warning. Warning in front, tackled by Salino. Cucaracha over on the inside of him, True Marvel. Salino on the outside's got it narrowly. Warning won't give him that a fight. They beat off the others. They pair off. It's a sloggy go. Salino and Warning. Salino's cut. Salino beat Warning. True Marvel third. Cucaracha fourth. Then Essential Sky, Yaffet. Followed by, at the head of the others, Alabia. Then Platinum Invader, Tappy's Land. Well back Southern Stock, Nerve Not Verve. Then came Long Arm. Followed by Atlantos. Tio Filo Star got very, very weary. And he beat only Credit Crunch to the line as Salino takes another major cup. He does, and what a great result. So Nash gets his second, Chris gets his third, but a Sydney Cup winner becomes a Brisbane Cup winner and wins a, beats a Victoria Derby winner. I had a conversation here yesterday with Matt Rudolph about why is this race four and not race five? He said, I lost that battle. This was a terrific Brisbane Cup. I think that rejuvenation is there. Yeah, so the Sydney Cup winner defeats a VRC Derby winner Kukaracha, who is, of course, a Queensland Derby winner and also a Premier's Cup, is in a photo for third there with True Marvel, who's runner-up in a Sydney Cup. The form's absolutely everywhere, isn't it? So you're right, Bruce. Uh, hopefully, Matty Rudolph will win that argument in the future. Don't you love a two-miler? Yes. Don't you love a two-miler? Off we go.